are not your friends. And I have found that I have a problem that I speak my mind and I tell the truth. And sometimes it's very hurtful. Maybe I'm, I don't say it in the most constructive way sometimes, but I feel that I do. But I just, if I don't like something, I say it. And if I, if I, if I feel this or I say that or, and trust me, I'll stick up for a friend over another friend. And, you know, it's got me into, you know, situations to where I lost friendships. And sometimes you, you sit there and ask yourself, what happened? What, what did I do? What can I do to be better? And, um, you just, you look back at everything and you really have to dig deep and find out what kind of fucking company was this? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know, for one day they're here, one day they're not, you know, then they weren't meant to be in your life. You know, you think they're really good people and you want to believe they are. And I, I still do. I don't think there's anything malicious, but questionable, you know, so um, that's all in my book and that gets pretty good too. Um, uh, keep learning. This has really kept my drive going by, I, I'm always stimulating myself. I try to read a, a book a month or a couple a year. And I, uh, um, I also take up new things if it's crafts, if, if it's this, if it's learning how to weld, or if it's learning to change the oil on an older motorcycle, or if it's, um, I took up the drums during quarantine, um, learning the piano by myself, uh, just different, wonderful things. I try to get better at gardening each year. So I I make it a point to make sure that I'm learning all the time and keeping that brain active. (laughs) Um, I try to see good and bad people. And this kind of goes with keeping good company. And if these people were ever to reach out to me again, I would be very cordial and polite, of course, but I sure in the hell would never. I just, you know, you learn when to cut ties and you learn to when not to bring these people back in your life because, um, it just, it, it's pretty simple that, um, I see good, you know, I see good in these people, but, um, sometimes we just, we grow, right? So it was very hard. It's very hard to find good in people that absolutely fucking hurt you. It really is because you just, you, you keep asking yourself why without any explanation. And then you find out why, and then you figure out it wasn't you. (laughs) And it's so relieving and it's so good. Um, but Again, finding good in those bad people. It's not easy, people, but to do it, you'll feel better about yourself. Um, And then getting to know yourself. And as years goes on, and the wisdom, and the knowledge, and the people, and the experiences, and learning how to keep them affirmations going, and keeping good people, and keep learning, and seeing good and bad people you're going to get to know yourself even more. Watch your own actions during situations. You're going to learn about yourself. You know when you're doing something bad. You know when you're saying something wrong or if it's bullshit. Call out your own bullshit. You know, sometimes we like to enhance situations or conversations just because. I don't know why we do that. Maybe for the fear that it doesn't sound good or it's not exciting. But I'm working on that, not to do that. You know, like, hey, hey, I've, I, I've, I've got a, um, uh, not me, I don't have a, a Rolex, but let's just say, hey, I got a, I got a Rolex. And then because you want to impress people more, yeah, I got a, I got a Rolex that has, um, like a diamond bezel and it's all it's 24 karat gold and you don't have any of that 
but you do have a Rolex, but you're embellishing all the other bullshit. Why do people do that? I don't know. So just know yourself and call yourself and call your own bullshit. You, you're, you'll love yourself more. Trust me. <laughs> and then track your progress. Just check in with yourself. Get a journal. Write a journal. And then uh, I've got a journals every every little where for different situations and times and things and, you know, morning stuff. I got bedtime journals. I got a bathroom journal. <laughs> I got a piss off journal, you know. Um, and then help others. And gosh, that's one thing I love. I love giving to people. I just, I love giving everything that I could, anything I have, you can have. I've been that way. You want to go? You want to go with me? You want to go to New York with me? I'll get you a ticket. You can stay with me. I'll pay for the hotel. I mean, I, that's the way I've been. That's the way I've been with some of my friends in the past that took advantage of the situations, <laughs> you know? And, uh, yeah, you learn real quick. Um, but helping others in a time because you want somebody maybe to be a part of and you want to help them, that's one thing. But um, reciprocation is nice too. But but when you go to help others, you can't expect like you're doing this to get something back. I've never once done that to, to my friends when I gave. There is one time I regret though. Um, I don't, I mean, I regret and I learned from it, but I think I got so mad because I wanted this friend to do something, you know, all the time, but there's always a fucking excuse. You have one friend like that, you know, you, you love him to death and you talk to him all the time. You give him so much advice and you go do things and blah, and then you want him to do something with you. And it's always the same fucking excuse. And you say, finally, I'll pay for it. You go, you do this. And then you guys get in an argument and then all of a sudden you blurt it out. Well, I did this for you. <laughs> you feel like an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I did that once. But I was so pissed off because I wanted them to go. But again, you can't help others and expect anything back. That's the beauty, people. These are all learning things. I'm hey, okay. Fuck. I'll talk about my stupid ass shit. We all learn from it. That's what it's about, being real people. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to hit on all that. And I just think it's person. It's just, it's a really good personal check on all this stuff. What drives you? What's your motivation? What are, what are some key points that, you know, that helps you? Now, these are mine. Like I, that would have really helped me in the last, you know, maybe 10 years is affirmations, keeping good company, keep learning, see good and bad people, um, know yourself, track progress, help others. So these are mine. So, you know, just write down one to 10 and then write examples of what did before and what's new. And um, in a journal and you'll find out, man, wow, that's really me. <laughs> oh, shit. But it's fun. And uh, so a lot of people are asking me, how the fuck do you stay so motivated? Well, I had to sit down and think about that. And I thought I'd share it with you guys. And guess what? That's it. We're coming to an end, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening. Um, hit that little subscribe button. Um, leave some comments. Uh, we drop on all podcast platforms. Um, Apple Podcast, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, um, Spotify, all them, all of them great things. All right, guys. Again, have an amazing, amazing week. And sorry I was a little bit late last week just catching up. And I got so much shit coming up, too. And uh, we'll be talking all that. Have a great day and peace out. Call me Queen of Carnage. I will beat your ass. This is my time. Busting doors, breaking glass ceilings. And I like to play. They used to call me a Lunder Blade, but not anymore. I am Medusa and always will be Medusa. And that's what I think of the Women's Championship belt.